Welcome everyone to a new FIFA 22 video on my channel. My name is Mark and in this video I'm gonna try to help you to improve your gameplay in FIFA 22. In comments, uh, in other videos, under other videos, I get lots of requests about my defending, about my attacking, about uh, passing, name it all. And yeah, I, I thought, well, let's make a video for, uh, yeah, especially for the beginners that are pretty new to the game or yeah just not played that competitive in the last years and uh, people who want to improve their gameplay i gave you some tips and hopefully uh yeah it will help you to improve your gameplay these are simple tips so if you are a really good fifa player or you are a pro player i don't know if you want to be a pro player maybe this is not a video for you but i try to help all of you guys so this is pretty sure for the new FIFA players and you see some clips in uh, the background and I'm going to explain why I use this clip. So I'm going to give you some uh, defensive tips because defensive is really important of course. Uh, some skill moves that I'm using pretty easy to perform skill moves but that are really really effective and also a yeah, at the moment, maybe, I, I don't know if it's, if it's a broken pass, but in my opinion, it's a bit of a broken pass that you can use and yeah it's really powerful to use all right let's start with uh the defending but before we begin i really wanted to ask you to drop a like under the video it will be really amazing if you do that it will rank my videos higher in youtube if you will do that and if you're new to my channel and you want to find your way back really easy make sure you are subscribed with notifications on so when i'm uploading a new video you see it really quick and yeah Hopefully you will watch it, of course. All right, let's start with the beginning, with the defending. And defending, in my opinion, is always with your midfielders. And I have three clips for you. And as you can see here, I switched to Kante. Try to uh, recover the ball. And with Kante, one of the best central defensive midfielders, of course, it's a pretty easy job. Here again, we're losing the ball. And what I'm doing, selecting Kante, try to figure out what my opponent is doing don't switch to your defenders because your defenders are pretty good lined up and if they are good lined up it's really uh yeah hard for your opponent to find a good pass for them and with kante we can recover the ball again and here i switch to my center backs but i immediately try to switch to kante again and recover the ball all right let's do this again here i'm selecting my center back but if i'm running into the attacker he can pass it really easy and there is a whole wide gap in my defense so my advice almost all the time don't switch to your defenders too early try to hold them up try to go to your center back there we hold them up try to go to your central defensive midfielder i need to say and then run after the ball try to figure out uh, how he's going to attack, what passes he's going to make and try to uh, yeah, block that or tackle that and recover the ball. Here again, we're losing the ball with Griezmann. Good tackle for my opponent. I switch immediately in this situation to my central defensive midfielder because I have the time to do that. Um, he is pretty far on his own half, but he is passing it forward. First of all, go a bit back. First of all, this moment, I thought he's going to pass it to him. So I was running into that guy, but then I decided, no, he's not going to do that. So immediately run back and Kante is pretty fast. So now he is passing it to him, but we have won some time, a few seconds, and we can see whatever he's going to do. I don't switch to another player, just Kante. Most of the times your opponent will pass to the striker. So try to block these areas. He's doing that, but he's not pretty fast at this moment. And still we have Kante and he don't know what to do. I think he could pass it to him, but I tried to block that as good as I can. And we have the ball and we can build up our own attack. And here again, I switched to my center back, but I see the second icon is above Kante. So I switched to Kante and then my opponent waited too long and we can recover the ball easy so that's my first tip for the defense it's not about tackling it's not about uh yeah how to possession it's about 
don't select your defenders too early because if you do that you run forward with your defenders you create gaps in your own defense and it's really easy for your opponent to make use of these gaps and yeah with the fast strikers they have uh, most of the times it's really easy to make runs and yeah create can chances and score goals so try to defend with your midfielders as you can all right then we're going to uh the second one and this is the passing that i was talking about this is uh yeah, a bit broken in my eyes this passing and it's a lob pass and i'm going to show you how to perform it but you need some fast players of course that's making that are making the runs and you saw it with werner werner has 91 pace i think let's go a bit back there it is all right what you need to do in this situation i have werner it's a counter attack what i do is just a l1 pass so the l1 means if you are holding the l1 while passing that your uh, player that has the ball is gonna make a run forward so passing it to this guy and then immediately he will run forward and with a really fast player like werner he is always faster than the defenders are so now we have harvards on the ball as you can see here what i'm doing is holding the l1 button for a lob pass and then pushing the lob pass the triangle button twice it doesn't matter how much power you gave it just uh, press it twice and the pass will have the exact good power nine out of ten times and you can score a really easy goal so a lob pass with with pushing the triangle button two times is a really effective lob pass and really broken in my eyes because there is almost no scenario that it doesn't work all right you don't you can't use it all the time when you are at the defense but especially in these uh, situations when you are on a breakout on a counter attack and your attacker is running behind the last defenders of your opponent you can use that and it's a perfect pass and a goal all right now we're going to uh i'm going to show you two skill moves that are really effective and that are really easy to perform you only need to use your right stick nothing else all right then we have here coman what i'm doing here you can run this way but he will run after you so uh yeah it's a one uh it's not a really good scenario for you if you are running this way because there are not any strikers here yet so what i try to do is trying to go into the box with a skill move and i'm using that nine out of ten times with the berbatov spin or the drag back spin i don't know how they call it exactly in my eyes it's the berbatov spin um, but how you perform it is the right stick put it uh, pull it back uh, backwards so we are running to the left side so you do the right stick to the the right side and then down because we want to go inside to the box let's see it and you do the berbatov spin you lose your opponent and then you can decide what you do or you run into the box or you pass what i was doing here is running into the box he makes a fall and we get a penalty kick all right let's see it again we are running into the opponent and at this moment berbatov spin so flick your right stick back then down and then you're performing this skill move and we were past the, the uh, defender all right the second uh skill move is a really eye opener in my opinion it's in the game since fifa 21 so since last year and yeah as you can see it's a really quick turn and almost your opponent is almost falling for it every time and it's really wonderful to create some space for yourself to pass or to shoot and the only thing you have to do is flick the right stick to the backwards you are facing twice after each other so let's see in let's go back to the first scenario here we have um, we are playing with Spurs and we have Bergwijn and I'm using this skill move now twice here we have Bergwijn and at this moment I'm flicking my right stick backwards to where I'm running to so we are running to the left side so I'm flicking it right two times after each other and look bam we are free to pass the ball to Kane we are doing that Kane he is not a really good dribbler so you can see that he is uh, executing 
this scale move a bit slower than Bergwijn does, but it's still pretty effective. So we are facing, uh, we are running upwards. So I'm flicking the right stick back downwards two times. We are performing the same scale move, shooting a bit like that it's going in, but it's a really great way to create space for passing or for shooting here yeah, with uh, Chelsea with Harvards, we are running a bit upside uh, to the right so you need to flick it uh, to the left side but a bit down and then he's performing this creating space for the pass to Saul there is pretty much space there on the midfield to the right side to Pulisic and we score a goal same situation with Harvards again same match and look at this flicking left two times passing the ball passing the ball to Ziyech pretty good shot from distance and it's a goal all right these are my tips for beginners for uh, yeah players who want to improve their own gameplay so defensive tips passing tips and skill move tips i'm gonna show you some tips even more after i'm playing more matches but yeah we are still a bit in the beginning of fifa 22 so it takes some time for me to have all the content and have all the tips for you uh, so be a bit patient hopefully thank you very much for watching for this video and hopefully you enjoyed it and hopefully you enjoy the rest of your day bye bye